Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and we've just hit 20,000 subscribers. So I thought, what better way to celebrate than looking at the statistics of actuarial science. So in this video, we're gonna be seeing how many actuaries are there and where are they situated in the world. And I'm getting my data from the International Actuarial Association. So you can see there's all of this data down here and you literally can click on one and um, it takes some time to load and you can see, okay, there's 97 actuaries over there. So essentially I made a spreadsheet put all the actuaries from all the different countries together, summed it up, and we get 60, almost 68,000 actuaries. Now remember, these are people who have qualified by writing all of the exams and meeting all of the professional requirements. It's not just actuarial students or people working in the actuarial space. If it was, then I can imagine the number would be a lot bigger because not a lot of people get all the way uh, to complete all the exams. So yeah, out of a world population of what are we at, like 7 billion now, 68,000 of us are actuaries. Now, very important to point out that actuaries from the following countries do not, I'm not gonna be considering, uh, just because they're not full members of the IAA. And when you go and you click on them, it does say zero actuaries. So they kind of get, um, yeah, not counted because they're not full members of the IAA. So what I did first is, I took all the actuaries and I calculated the percentage of them. So we can see you know, so much percent of the total actuaries are in Argentina and so forward. But the first thing I wanted to do was just look at the world's GDP. And I wanted to see if there's, you know, the country with the biggest GDP is that the country with the most actuaries. And it turns out that it is the case, but there are some exceptions. It's not a very strong rule. So this is a map here of the world um, based on the GDP. So you can see Canada gives 2.7%, America is the biggest one with 24.46, and you know China is very quickly growing and catching up at 15.24%. But because these two are so huge, you kind of lose the rest of the data. So in the second map over here, I have removed America and China just to kind of see, you know, how's the rest of the world doing? We can see uh, Japan is up there as well as Germany. Of course, you can also just look at the, the listings over here to see which are the top countries. So United States, China, Japan, Germany, UK, India, France, Brazil, Italy, and Canada. Then I went and I did the same thing with the actuaries. So got our actuaries over here and I once again plotted the list. Interestingly, United States is again the biggest one at 33.16%. Uh, that means yeah, a third of all actuaries are based in America or belong to the American actuarial societies. Um, what was interesting is look at China. China's only got 1% of the actuaries even though they're second in the GDP. Um, so like I said, I found that interesting, but if we look at the top 10, of the amount of actuaries in the world, we've got United States, then United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, Australia, France, Spain, Japan, Brazil, South Africa. And the big things there is that China's missing and South Africa, my country, makes it into the top 10. So what I wanted to do in the final map was to look at the ratio between GDP and actuaries. So if we come here and we look at this purple map, Funnily enough, I mean, South Africa is second, which means we've got a very, very small GDP, but we've got a significant share of the world's actuaries. The biggest one is the United Kingdom, but I think that this number is skewed. So the United Kingdom, it's like the amount of actuary percentage that they have is five times the amount of GDP percentage. And I think that is because if we had to come and look at India, we'll see that there's a very big problem with, well, well not a problem, but a, a disproportion here. So India is 16.74, which if you have to go, I mean, okay, I didn't have, I couldn't get information for Taiwan because in South Africa, we recognize Taiwan as a country. I think the rest of the world sees it as Chinese Taipei or I don't know, political stuff. And then Northern Macedonia also didn't come up in some of the GDP things that are looking at. But India, uh, is very very low that means the amount of actuaries it has compared to its gdp is is yeah it's 
I mean, it's, it's almost not, but not as bad as China. So this means that there's almost a lack of app trees in China. And you see Pakistan there as well. But what I think is happening is, especially with Pakistan and India, I think, I think, I don't know this for sure, but I'm thinking looking at the data that the majority of the actuaries there are signing in under the UK um, Actuarial Society or the, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. So India and Pakistan, the actuaries there are actually belonging to the United Kingdom one. And I think that's why there is this discrepancy and why there's so many actuaries in the UK relative to their GDP. Which is interesting because it means if it wasn't for that distortion, um, then South Africa would have been the country with the most actuaries relative to its GDP. Um, which it's, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what type of uh, conclusions that you can draw from that. Um, other things that I thought were quite interesting was, I mean, if we had to look at the top 80%, I don't know, maybe should we, should we do it quickly now? Um, I can always edit this. I want to see if we have the Pareto distribution. So let's very quickly accumulate this stuff. So yeah, sorry, coming back, I just wanted to test to see if we had the Pareto distribution, which says that, you know, are 80% of the actuaries in 20% of the countries? And we see it's even more skewed with 80% of the actuaries are only in 13% of the countries. So that is another interesting statistic to check out. I mean, coming back to the map, you can kind of see some interesting things. Um, for me, one of the, the big things was that in the Middle East, we don't tend to have actuarial uh, societies. Now, there is Iran. So Iran does have an actuarial society. It's a partial member. It's not a full member of the IAA. Um, but I mean, you look at countries like Saudi Arabia, UAE, I mean, these are big hitters in the amount that they contribute towards the GDP. However, um, when we come to our thing, we see that they just don't have actuarial societies. Um, but other than that, I mean, and then of course, yeah, Africa is kind of, there's, there's a lot lacking in, in Africa. I mean, there's only a few countries that have um, full membership with the IAA, but we did see, or the encouraging thing is that a lot of the other partial members over here, um, you can see are African countries like Senegal, Tanzania, uh, Uganda, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and, and all of those. So hopefully in time, they will become full members. Um, there are some criteria that you have to meet in order to become a full member. But uh, yeah, there we, there we go. This is how, or yeah, sorry. In this video, we've looked at the fact that there are 68,000 actuaries in the world, and we've seen where are they distributed around the world. And we can see the majority are in the United States, um, and then we have United Kingdom, Germany, Canada, Australia, France, Spain, Japan, Brazil, and South Africa. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Cheers.